and joining us on the program right now, very pleased to have with us, Mr. Tom King, head of the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association. How are you tonight, Tom? Pretty good, Cam. How about you? You know, Bill Clinton did it as well, if you remember. Oh, that's right. Yes, and uh, and and I don't recall Sorkin uh, getting upset about the fact. You know, Sorkin kind of based the West Wing on uh, what a wonderful man Bill Clinton was. That's right. That's exactly right. Yeah, I'm glad you reminded me of that. Hey, before we get talking about the uh, campaign to arm uh, bodega employees in New York, I got to ask you about this. Because once again, Mayor Bloomberg is uh, dropping those hints left and right. Bloomberg offering a major speech, quote unquote, on uh, economic policy in New York today. And a lot of folks are saying, again, this is uh, a, a signal or a sign that Bloomberg is interested in a third party run. I said at the beginning of this hour, Tom, I think I figured it out. I think Bloomberg wants to drop these hints, but I think he's waiting for somebody to come to him and ask him to run. I agree. Please, Mayor Bloomberg, we need you. You are our only hope, because I think that that, that's the only way that his uh, ego will allow him to risk failure. I, I I totally I totally agree with you on that, and let me I'll, let me I'll ask him to run right now, Mister <laughs> Mr. Bloomberg. Please run as far away from New York City as possible. It's not going to work if you do it. It needs to be. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I mean, it needs to be somebody like Joe Scarborough and you know, the the No Labels group that uh, has is out there. And I've also decided, Tom. I don't care. Bloomberg could be a thousand percent right on the economy. I mean, I could listen to him and say, "Wow, he just absolutely nailed it." I could not vote for that guy for president. No, I couldn't either. You know, and uh, you know, and, and when you think about it, I'm sure there's a number of people out there who can tell everybody exactly what's wrong with the economy and and how it needs to be fixed. But the problem is, is are the politicians going to listen to that advice and follow it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, and you know, speaking of fixing things uh, in New York City. Bloomberg said that he was going to fix the gun laws there by lowering the fees and uh, adding all kinds of rigmarole to trying to get a license. While this is going on, you've got uh, a, a, a group of individuals out there who are uh, starting a campaign protection for small businesses in which they are trying to uh, arm bodega uh, owners and uh, I, I guess not employees because you have to be the owner of a business to carry a firearm in the business in New York, right? That's right. Okay, so trying to uh, help bodega employees or bodega owners uh, acquire legally owned firearms in New York City. The guy that's running this, though, Tom, as I understand it, he, he's been involved in a lot of anti-gun campaigns over the years. Yeah, that's that's true. And, uh, you know, it's amazing what people will do for some political notoriety and to uh, to get on what they consider is the right side of an issue. You know, he'll probably run for mayor next. <laughs> So are you are you uh, looking at this with a little skepticism? Well, you know, yes, yes, I am because uh, you know we all know what the answer is going to be uh, and what Mayor Bloomberg is going to say. Do I agree with with this in theory? Absolutely. You know, uh, if if the anybody who feels threatened it should be able to go out and buy a pistol to protect themselves. I mean, that's just the way it is. This is the United States. Yeah, you know, and and that's that's what it should be. And if it takes uh, someone who uh, who has seen the light, you know, so to speak, and and ha- is now on our side to uh, to bring that to bring that point to you know fruition, then I'm I'm all for it. You know, I don't care who he is. The uh, the story that I read today had w- what to me was an amazing fact. Uh, let me just quote here: Under the campaign, bodega owners can apply for gun licenses, assistance in buying guns, and training. From Gold Shield Training Center in Westchester, normally lawyers charge a thousand dollars to assist in getting a license. Uh, but as a special partner to the Bodega Owners, Gold Shield will charge applicants two hundred and fifty dollars in addition to the three hundred and forty dollars state fee. Is that is that true, Tom? I mean, when you're applying for a uh, a pistol license in New York City, I imagine it'd be a good idea to get an attorney involved. But is it really running four figures to try to exercise a constitutional right in the Big Apple? Yeah, sometimes if you if you're going to get an attorney, it's doing that. You know, it can be done. It can be done without it. And uh, there are a number of uh, there are a number of people, uh, non attorneys, who have services in New York City that will uh, help you apply for a pi- uh, pistol license. 
you know that that charge well under a thousand dollars. Okay, you know, right right around the two hundred and fifty dollar mark. All right, but but it's it, it, you know again as I understand, I mean, the application is very complicated. Uh, obviously, uh, folks who are uh, examining the application going to be looking for any reason whatsoever to deny you. The uh, the fees that you are are giving to the uh, uh, city those are non refundable. I've got to guess it it. No matter if you do it yourself or if you get somebody else involved, you're still going to be paying a pretty penny to try to exercise a right. Yeah, you are. Uh, I think it. I think it would say, what is it? It's three hundred and fifty dollars right now if you're if you're an individual just for the license fee. Sheesh. That is. How often do you have to renew? Uh, in New York City, you know, I don't recall, Cam. I think it's every every five years, but I'm not. I, I don't remember. Wow. Wow. Well, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see what Mayor Bloomberg's reaction is to this uh, campaign. And you kind of, you know, I guess if you're if you're a cynical individual, Tom, and you're looking at this guy who uh, has been involved in some anti-gun programs in the past, if Bloomberg comes out and says, oh, I think, you know, I, this is something I can live with. We're talking about legally owned guns. I'm going to say the fix is in. And this is all an attempt to make Bloomberg look reasonable on the issue. Oh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt that. I wouldn't doubt that a bit. You know, and and that's that's entirely possible. You know, the the, the machinations of uh, New York City politics, you know, uh, uh, go beyond the pale. You know, uh, I mean, that's you got to remember. New York City politics goes goes back to Tammany Hall in those days, and it's you know, it's the same people that are running the city. Uh, now is that we're running it then and you know they they know how to do this and you know they know how to make themselves look good doing it yeah well we'll keep our eyes on things in the big apple in the meantime glad you could join us tonight sir and look forward to talking again very very soon thanks a lot cam and always good talking to you have a great night tom